China wants you to boycott the internet. Kodak says goodbye to Kodachrome, and PayPal lets you be your own pimp. It's Tuesday, June 23rd. I'm Natalie Del Conte, and it's time to get loaded. We're expecting a major announcement out of Intel this morning. As of this broadcast, the company has not yet spoken, but speculation is that Intel will announce that it is the main chip maker for all Nokia handsets and possibly a Nokia netbook of sorts in the future. This would make sense given the fact that Intel has been heavily focused on mobile lately. We will report back with any developments tomorrow. A consortium of tech companies, including Google, Facebook, and Craigslist, launched a site called All for Good this week. It works hand in hand with the United We Serve project coming from the Obama administration. This initiative aims to both expand the impact of existing organizations and encourage people like you and me to develop our own do-it-yourself service projects. All for Good aggregates volunteer opportunities around the country. It's a sister site to serve.gov. Using the search tool, you can specify how you would like to volunteer, where you're available, and when you can help out. Check it out, pass it around, allforgood.org. And if you don't feel like volunteering, you still can offer up your services for some extra money. PayPal's new site called Do Stuff for Money allows you to be your own online pimp of sorts. It's a way to exchange services for money. So if you need your house cleaned, you could post an offer on Facebook or email. If one of your friends needs the cash and is willing to clean up after you, they could accept through the site and then you could pay them using PayPal, of course. Google has started researching a way to improve image search. The project, in its early stages, will allow users to search for specific landmarks like the Eiffel Tower and cluster similar photos of these famous landmarks together. This image search, however, won't pull up your most recent Parisian vacation photos of you and your family, but only images of the actual landmark. While this sounds like a great tool, Google doesn't know if they will develop this research into an actual product. After 74 years, Eastman Kodak finally waves goodbye to its Kodachrome color slide film brand this year. The film, once a favorite among many photographers, required a complicated process to develop but it produced a positive image instead of the normal negative image most film produces. The company said it had noticed a decline in sales for this elite brand because of major competition from, of course, digital cameras. Calling all web surfers, Chinese internet users are asking you to stay offline on July 1st to boycott the new filtering software. The Chinese government mandated filtering software begins to ship on July 1st. Even though the laws around this software have softened, Chinese users are still none too happy with it, so they're organizing a boycott of the entire internet. Now, I am all for sacrificial statements, but stay offline for a whole day? I can try. Those are all your headlines for today. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I'm Natalie Del Conte with CNET TV, and you've just been loaded. Hi, I'm Molly Wood, host of the CNET Mailbag Show. It's the show where we read all of your email, from the ridiculous to the sublime, and we especially like the hater mail. Really. See it in high def at cnet.com slash mailbag.